All right, everybody. So the seventh anniversary Bleach Brave Souls Bankai live stream has just concluded. And there was a lot of stuff that was announced. So if you missed the live stream, this is the video for you. All right, so let's start off with the character reveals. We have a new 7th anniversary Ichigo and a new 7th anniversary Uryu, which is basically what most of the community was predicting. So not really too much of a surprise there. The Ichigo looks amazing. I love the design of this character. I love the aesthetic of the attacks. Uh, he looks very powerful, guys. And from what I was able to discern from the gameplay, he's going to have the following stuff. He's going to be a ranged character. He's also going to be the mind orange attribute. Uh, Aran Car Killer is also confirmed. And he will have paralysis and weaken as his status ailments. Also, he's going to have a spiritual pressure boost whenever he procs uh, a status ailment. And he has the best strong attack in the game, which is the homing vortex. I'm not sure if it has better range than the uh, other homing vortexes we've seen before. But it does look pretty big, guys. And also that strong attack 1 has tremendous range as well. It looks almost full screen on a strong attack 1. So the Ichigo looks great. Looks very powerful. I'm also going to assume that he has the following abilities. This is not confirmed. So this is just my guesses right here, guys. He's going to have a second killer. He's probably also going to have Sharpshooter, which if you don't know what that is, that's Guard Break and Hit Range immune Enemies uh, combined. And he's probably also going to get Frenzy plus 2. So um, those are just assumptions. Again, once again, that's not confirmed. That's just my best guess. Alright, so moving on to the Uryu, who also looks... I love the design of this character. They really did a good job on his aesthetic, guys. Uh, the special... Wow, like it just blew me away when I saw it. But uh, this Uryu is going to be a melee character, uh, which is kind of strange because in his special animation, he says he only uses bows. But, you know, it's whatever. It's cool. Uh, he's going to be a speed attribute character, which is blue. Also, he is not going to have the Soul Reaper or Hollow Killer uh, killer ability because I noticed that when he nuked the Aizen boss, uh, the Aizen boss did not take any killer damage. So uh, the Aizen boss is classified as Soul Reaper and Hollow. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure that's his uh, classification. So he won't have those killer abilities. Uh, he's also going to have Drain and Weaken status ailments. He's going to have a debuff on his special. And he has some kind of new mechanic, guys. If you look at underneath his character model, you'll see that bar which I don't know what it does or how it works. Uh, there has been some speculation based on the data mine uh, information, but uh, I don't really want to put that out there because I'm not sure uh, what it means yet. I mean, the data mine information, it's kind of hard, uh, hard to understand for me. I don't know. Maybe you guys are better at reading that stuff, but uh, I don't want to put it out there if I don't know. So we'll just have to wait until they actually release the character. All right. And uh, the following is also going to be my assumptions on this character. He is going to have two killer abilities. It's just probably not going to be Soul Reaper or Hollow. So, I mean, that doesn't leave a lot of good killer abilities. Maybe no affiliation is good. Human, maybe Captain. I don't know. Something like that, guys. We'll have to wait and see. He's probably going to have Marauder, which makes him hit uh, melee immune enemies and gives him guard break. And I'm thinking he's going to have Frenzy plus two also. Uh, he is an anniversary character, so he's got to have, like, that hard-hitting damage. All right, so that's it for the new characters, guys. I was really hyped when I saw them. Uh, some people weren't so hyped because you know, you know, they're not Ichigo fans or we have too many Ichigos or whatever the reason was. Uh, but I think the characters look great. I think Caleb did a great job on them and I can't wait to get the rest of the official information. All right, so moving on, they also announced some other news. And the first thing they talked about was a new kind of like a co-op mechanic. Well, it's not really a mechanic, but it's a system where They'll mark certain players as beginners or something like that, guys. And when you play a co-op with those players that have the beginner's mark, you're going to get these assist points, which can be used in a new shop to buy items. So that seems pretty cool, especially for beginners. Um, also for veterans, you know, if, you, if we can all use the shop, it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, not really sure of the specific mechanics on how that works, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And also they're going to do... Uh, something for the co-op and epic raid setups. So you're going to have um, a deck where you can like set up different characters with their links uh, and stuff like that. We already have that 
in regular co-op, but we don't have that in Epic Raids. But, it, you know, it sounds like a good uh, quality of life upgrade. Uh, being able to choose from uh, sets will save time on, like, you know, putting different accessories on your characters and stuff like that, putting different links on all the time. So, uh, nice quality of life improvement. And also, guys, they're going to adjust event rewards the way they're displayed they're not going to change the amount of event rewards but they're going to adjust the uh the screen where you pick up your event rewards so you'll be able to see everything at once and it's not going to be like a slow reveal and you'll have to scroll through to see all your items they're going to just uh consolidate that make it like one screen you see all the items and they're also going to make sure that your event rewards are sent directly to your inventory and not to the gift box so you're not going to have to go to your gift box and collect everything uh, so it skips that step. Uh, keep in mind though that they said soul tickets and characters will still go to the gift box. So that's also very good because you don't want to be collecting all your soul tickets at, at once if you're not going to use them. And uh, the other thing they talked about is cleaning up the inventory screen on the uh, on, on your character materials to make it more readable. Uh, this is a great improvement because the way they have it now, it's like everything is kind of just mashed together and it's not separated by like color like it is in this screenshot. So that's gonna be really nice uh, just to, uh, when you check to see what items you need or what items you wanna farm and stuff like that. So uh, much needed quality of life improvement there. All right, so moving on guys, uh, we gotta talk about the seventh anniversary stuff that they got going on. The first thing they said, there's gonna be a seventh anniversary campaign starting on July 23rd. And when you log in every day, you'll get a certain amount of spirit orbs and the grand total that you should get if you log in every day during this period will be 90 total orbs. So, I mean, that's not a crazy amount of orbs, but every little bit helps. So I'm not mad at it. Also, there's going to be triple droplets in the droplet zone quest, and that's co-op and single player. So we're going to be able to farm a ton of droplets during this seventh anniversary campaign. Definitely try to take advantage of it because uh, almost everything requires a lot of droplets, uh, you know, transcendence, uh, level 20 link slots. You need so many droplets to uh, upgrade those characters, uh, those aspects of those characters. So definitely try to take advantage of triple droplets. All right, moving on. Uh, the seventh anniversary summoning starts on July 23rd. Step one is going to be free. And step six is a guaranteed featured character. Now, that's not a guaranteed banner character, guys. That's a guaranteed featured character, which is one of the banner characters or one of the filler characters that they put in. And we don't know what the filler characters are yet. Uh, as soon as we do, I'll let you guys know. Uh, hopefully it's good filler. Uh, but it's a pretty standard setup for a summoning banner. So looks good to me there. And the next thing they talked about is we're going to get 10 free Brave Souls summons. Uh, that's like one a day. And step 10 is a guaranteed five star. So that's pretty nice. Um, especially nice for like new players who don't have a lot of those characters. Uh, still, free summoning is always good, so uh, definitely take advantage of that. Even if you don't play the game, guys, at least log in and do the free multi every day. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Next is the, the standard choose a six star anniversary thing that they always do. And what this is, is you're going to pick 10 characters from a list that you want. And then the game will give you one of those 10 characters you selected. So it's randomly chosen from your list of 10. So um, keep in mind that they don't usually add, they're not going to add Thousand Year Blood War characters to this. You won't be able to pull it, uh, pick Can't Fear Your Own World characters or Spirits Are Forever With You characters uh, from this ticket. So unfortunately, you can't get one of those. But it looks like you can get some of the old anniversary characters. Uh, I'm pretty sure anything that's in premium, the premium summon pool, will be available to choose. So uh, I, Anniversary Eisen would be a good pick um, if he's in there. He's not on the picture, but I'm assuming he's in the pool. Uh, maybe Artwork Ichigo. Uh, we'll have to wait and see exactly about that. But I'm pretty sure those characters will be in the pool. Uh, all right, moving on. We also have a new event, guys. And, you know, a new event, usually I wouldn't even bother, like, talking about it. But this one is special because you can get a red special move source from this event. That is huge, guys. Definitely go out of your way to get that red special move source. Uh, if you don't know what a special move source is, it's basically you can use this thing to increase the transcendence level of any red character. So it's basically it's basically like getting a red dupe of any character you want. So try to get that special move source. Uh, should be pretty easy, especially with the 10 ticket runs now. 
um, and definitely worth doing. Uh, also, we're going to get the special 7th anniversary coin. These accessories aren't really anything special. I mean, they're just more for collecting. Uh, I have every anniversary coin since the game started, so I'm definitely going to get that. You wouldn't actually use that accessory, but it's nice to have. And finally, uh, they announced that they're going to be doing additional rounds of 7th anniversary uh, events, guys. So there's going to be up to around 7 of anniversary, and it goes until August. So we don't know exactly what they're going to be doing during these rounds. They said that they're going to have some free summonings uh, in these rounds, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on the specifics. I'm thinking, obviously, the uh, round two of the anniversary characters will be getting during this uh, time period as well. Uh, and we didn't get any information on round two yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be like some kind of Spirits of Forever with you beyond Bankai. Maybe Roka Parmania? One can only hope. But uh, that's about it, guys. That about co covers everything. Um... Not really as much news as I had hoped, but still pretty hype, still pretty exciting. Uh, the new characters, I'm very satisfied with the uh, with how they turned out, and I can't wait to see their actual stats and abilities when they're released. So that's all the information. Let me know if I missed anything, guys. I might have missed something, but uh, I'm pretty sure I got it all. So thanks for watching. Get hype, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Bye bye.